Uh oh, I forgot my hat. I'm coming. Here I come. I'm almost back. I'm here. There we go. Um, I'll make it short because it's such a cool story. So you have to realize first, it's like 1991. And my wife, my ex-wife is a brilliant scientist and she's gone to Boston to, I mean, she's, she's moved us to Boston. Excuse me. I have to keep adjusting this to, um, for her postdoc at Harvard Medical School in plant molecular, plant molecular biology. So she's the queen, and uh, that's why we're in Boston. But we had met a, a writer named John Lewis a few years before who was from Baltimore who, lived, who knew John Waters and through John Waters knew um, Tracy Lords. And so anyway... I kind of knew this, but one day John Lewis invited us to come visit with him and his uh, fiance uh, at, at Martha's Vineyard from Boston. And um, I don't even know if he said there were some friends of his there. Maybe he did. But anyway, we take the train, the bus and, and take the ferry across. Oh, it was very beautiful. You know, from Boston down to Martha's Vineyard, get off. John Lewis meets us with um, just by himself. And I, we walk down the road. It's all beautiful. Go into this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful house. And as me and my ex-wife, Brenda, who the wonderful scientist, um, as we, <laughs> beautiful scientist too, uh, as we walked into the house with John Lewis, Studley Dudley, nice writer guy we knew from Baltimore, from years in Athens, Georgia. Anyway, um, he says, oh, you know, there's a beach on the other side of the house. So he says, oh, uh, Tracy Lords and her manager boyfriend guy are here. So they're out on the beach and we'll go meet them. So we walked through the house. I just found this out. Brenda did too. Uh, uh. We walked through the house down some stairs onto a beach. There's Tracy Lords in bright sunlight in 1991 in a bathing suit by the beach, lying there, and she greeted us. And me and Brenda just looked at each other like, we're going to faint and die. I mean, John Lewis had never said one word to us about Tracy Lords and her boyfriend uh, agent being there at all, anywhere in the world. We didn't talk about her. I knew that he was related to that crowd, you know. But um, anyway, so it was like just insane. So the punchline really is that my ex-wife, Brenda, is a beautiful, beautiful scientist. And, um, and you know, we, we, we had a very good relationship for a long time, for 20-odd years. But so anyway, it was just so funny that when we finally got away from Tracy and her uh, agent boyfriend and, and John and got back into the house for a little bit and had a private moment for just one second after we had uh, been through that, we just were just like, this was like not just fantasy, but I have to say, Tracy, it was like. And Brenda agreed. And Brenda is a big scientist and a beautiful woman. And not a big woman, but a beautiful scientist and a big woman. A woman of big... Uh, anyway, she agreed that you were just like an animation. It didn't seem... Nothing could look so perfect is what it seemed like. It really was like a genie just came out of the bottle when John Lewis said, well, Tracy Lewis is on the beach. And it's like, huh? I, it just numbed us both. And, and the fact that we both agreed on it, I think is, it says something about just the uh, amazing uh, aestheticness of uh, Tracy Lords. Got some aestheticness going on. You know, it just doesn't quit either. I mean, the thing is when it's perfect, that's what we both agreed on is that, well, it's not just that, well, Oh, she's sexy this way with this body part of this body part of this body. Part. 
Pittsburgh. It was just like she was perfect. She looked like a, a fantasy of, of um, you know, something you see. It's almost like, a, you know, a human anime person. Really. Human anime. Tracy Lord's human anime. It was like, no, no that's not real. That's, that's what you see, you know, if you look at a cartoon or something. So anyway, that's my story. Won't drag it on. Hope hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Tracy, I hope you're doing well. And there was nothing but good conversation and our amazement at your goddessness uh, when we met. So take care of business and uh, 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 good night, everybody.